What's up guys, good morning, it's your coach Dave here. It is not even 6.30 in the morning today, um, 6.25, I just finished my, um, my Body Beast shoulders workout. Um, just finished my shoulders workout, feel great, feeling strong. I can tell you guys this before I um, get into the message, and don't mind me, I'm always like wiping myself um, after my workout because uh, I'm super, super sweaty. But I tweaked like my shoulder the other day. I tweaked my shoulder doing chest, literally holding the weight and popping the weight up the top of my shoulder. So um, I, I tweaked it. So today during my shoulder workout, I had to modify and I had to switch it up. So my quick tip on that before I get into my message to you guys today is if you get a little injury, that is not a reason for you to stop right? That's not a reason for you to stop working out. Modify where you have to. If you hurt one arm, you have another arm, a core and legs. If you hurt your legs, you have a core and arms. If you hurt your shoulder, you know, you have your other shoulder. I think so often people, they get injured and they stop. So that's my little message because I tweak something up here, but it hasn't stopped me. I'm resting it. I'm icing it. I'm modifying where I have to. But guys, my message to you guys today is that hustle beats talent when talent doesn't Hustle, like I love that. Like hustle beats talent when talent doesn't hustle. And it's something that I read yesterday and the story that was explained to me was there was two guys and they both were going to get a job to work as a stock boy at a local grocery store. And one guy was much more talented than the other guy. He knew he was a better worker because he knew his friend was in fact lazy. So what has happened is they went to the store, they went and met the manager of the store, and, the, and they said they're here to apply the job for the stock boy positions that are open, and the manager said, all right, follow me, hurry up, and he walked to the back, towards the back of the store, and he went down, and he was moving very fast, and the friend that was more lazy, you know, the friend that knew his friend was lazy was scurrying along a lot quicker, and the one that knows that he is more talented and that he is a, could be a better worker didn't hurry up and his friend that was more lazy as a worker was in front of him and got to the back first. Well, the next day when, when the manager called, the manager called and gave the job to the friend that was more lazy but the one that scurried and hurried up to the back of the store. So the one friend that didn't get the job, the one that knows he's a hard, hard worker, he went to the store and he asked the manager and he said, hey, why didn't I get the job? And he said, because you didn't hurry up quick enough to the back of the store when I asked you guys to come to the back. Like, I love that. So the message of that story, guys, is that in that case, the one boy who didn't get the job, he may have been more talented. He may have known he would be a better worker at the store, but he, in fact, did not hustle to the back when the manager wanted to get there. Therefore, the person that was less talented but hustled harder got the job. So, like, I heard that message and I was like, wow. Like, I thought of it for so many reasons. Like, number one, guys, I think of it like being a beach body coach and my wife and I running a large team every single day. For those of you that are like coaches, for those of you that aren't coaches, like I'll be honest, this is there's more females that are coaches in this business. There's some amazing dudes that are crushing the business. Last year a top 10 coach was a male, Jamie Fitzpatrick. You know, there's other men, there's Chris Reed, there's Jimmy Nelson, there's Dave Ward, there's a lot of amazing, Tommy Migrant, Patrick Reelman, amazing men. But it is mostly female dominated because let's be honest, females tend to probably do better on social media. Females tend to have a more natural instinct of, you know, doing stuff online or whether it's taking selfies or whether it's being creative, whatever it is, you know? But I think of this, I will never ever in my life, no matter what it is, let something like that stop me. Like, and I think of what I read yesterday saying, I may not be more talented in social media, but I know I'd be willing to hustle harder than the vast majority, like 98% of people. The one thing you can't take away from me is what I do in the dark, because I truly believe what you do in the dark comes out in the light. What you do when nobody is watching comes out in the light. So like right now, I am trying to learn and increase my skill set on other platforms so I can reach more people to inspire more people and help more people through social media because that's the time we live in, right? Like the internet is social media and I love connecting with people. But the thing is, it may not come natural to me. It may be something that 
I don't pick up right away. But the thing is, is that I will not be stopped in how hard I hustle and how hard I work. You know, so I know certain things and kudos to the ladies. Like my wife is killing it. And some things I'm like, babe, how the heck did you like do that or figure that out so quickly? Or you're so creative. So like total kudos to so many of the amazing counterparts of mine as coaches because I, I love what they're doing. But I realize for me, if I want to be successful, if I want to get to certain things, I just have to will them to be to hustle harder than those that have more talent. So I'm here to tell you guys, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in life, achieve in life, whatever you're striving for, if it is not a strength of yours, don't let that be a reason to stop you, but rather a reason that you may just need to put in a little extra work. You may need just to grind a little harder. You may need to push a little harder. You may need to dig deep a little harder. You may need to sacrifice a little more sleep. You may need to get up earlier. You may need to be give that extra ounce of energy that for other people comes natural to them, and that's okay because we all have our strengths and our weaknesses, right? And the thing is that most importantly, you wanna leverage your strengths, but whatever field you're in or whatever you're trying to achieve, there may be some areas that in fact, you're not strong at, so you just have to be willing to outwork everybody else. Like, that's it. You just have to be willing to push harder than everybody else and just say, hey, I'm not gonna be outworked because I'm gonna hustle harder than those people that are more talented. You know, and I try to, I read that yesterday on the way home from my daughter's ice, ho ice hockey practice. Sadie is trying out next week in ice hockey for a travel team for September. She's been playing all year. She's been working very hard. She's playing with basically, I would say 98% boys. And I just told her, like I said, Sadie, there may be kids out there that may be more talented than you, or there will be kids out there that are more talented than you. You just need to be willing to outwork them. You just need to be willing to hustle harder. You need to be willing to push harder. So me, I think of it with my workouts. I think of it as my coaching opportunity when I think of the amazing ladies that are absolutely killing it and just saying, that's great. I just, to, for me to get there and get to that point, I just have to hustle harder. With my workouts, you know, I may not have all the time in the world. Having three kids, basically working two full-time jobs. Is it come easier for me for people that say only have one full-time career or other coaches that are full-time? Full -time? Would it be easier for them to find more time? Yes, but it's not my excuse. I'll just hustle harder because I know right now nobody can control the actions that you take every single day because that's wrapped up in 100% the law of decision. And the law of decision, you and you alone have 100% complete control of that. Nobody else, nobody else controls your actions, right? Nobody else controls your actions. And something I heard is that where your focus goes, your energy flows. Like I love that, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So for me, my focus is always forward. My focus is always getting to the next level. My focus is being a better version today than I was yesterday. My focus is how can I help more people? My focus is how can I improve and get stronger today? My focus is how can I increase my skill set today? The one thing that nobody can stop is the energy that's gonna flow towards my focus. Nobody can stop me. Can I let people sit there and try to criticize me? Yes, but another thing is I will not let people give me constructive criticism who have not already achieved the level of success that I'm trying to get at. And so often, so many of you let other people who have no idea or who have never walked in your shoes trying to get to where you wanna go, you let them get in your head and tell you that you shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be wasting your time. And therefore, what happens is your focus goes south and your energy goes south. Your focus needs to be forward. Surround yourself with people that lift you up. Surround yourself with people that have done what you are already trying to get to. Surround yourself with people that are gonna give you a focus to go somewhere and, be, and, and understand that if you're willing just to hustle and you're willing to do what you need to do in the dark, that's gonna bring you out in the light and that may mean hustle harder than those that are talented, then do it because you have complete control in the law of decision. So guys, my message for you guys today on this Tuesday is when talent does, when hustle out, or hustle beats talent when talent doesn't hustle. I absolutely love that, that struck me today. Um, I think of it in so many aspects of my life and I think of it in so many other aspects that I try to, you know, to, to, 
talk to my kids about, to teach to my girls about, Chris and I talk about, us as a team, she's great at things, I'm great at things, we work off of each other's strengths, because at the end of the day, guys, you can never get anywhere you wanna go by yourself. It's all about surrounding yourself with a great team. So, guys, that's it. I gotta get upstairs and get in the shower and get ready for work. Have a happy Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.